Hey guys, this is Matt with BleepinJeep.com. Today I'm going to show you how to remove the stock pitman arm and install a rough country drop pitman arm. But this is just a tiny portion of a much longer video on how to install an entire rough country long arm lift. If you look down in the description below, you'll find links to all of the lift component how-to videos as well as the full length version. Before we get started, make sure to subscribe to the Bleepin' Jeep channel right here and also check out Rough Country's YouTube channel at Rough Country TV. Okay guys, it's time to install a drop pitman arm. It looks like I've already got one on there, but let's put one on anyway. So the first thing that we need to do is pull this cotter pin out. I find that the best tool for this is a pair of wire cutters. Usually you can just grab onto it and pull it out like that. Now we need to get this castle nut off. It should be a three-quarter, I believe. Okay, now I like to use a pickle fork for this part and a hammer. Some people just use a hammer and whack it out from the top side, but it's kind of hard to get to in this case, and that usually ruins the threads. So, let's do this. You can also make pretty music. There we go. So the next thing you'll need is a big crescent wrench or pipe wrench. This thing will probably be on there pretty tight. I've already loosened it up for this purpose, but uh, what you can do is put a big pipe on here on your wrench. Get a lot of leverage on there. Alright, once you get that off, you'll need one of these tools. This is a pitman arm puller, and you can rent these at any auto parts store. And, uh, or you can just buy them. They're only like 15 bucks, I believe. So what you want to do is get that up over the pitman arm, and then you're going to turn it down on the shaft here. There we go. Now we're just going to tighten it down until it pops off. That thing must be on there pretty good. Let's see if we can use a breaker bar and get it off of there. I'm going to need a longer breaker bar. Oh, before that pops off of there, I want to mention that most uh, pitman arms only go on one way, but just in case, let's put a mark on the back side of the pitman arm and this gearbox up at the top so that uh, if it doesn't, we'll know where, how to put it back on. Well, I think Godzilla put that on there. It even melted the edge, the point of my pitman arm puller there. Uh, I'll keep trying and see what happens. Alright guys, check this out. I got my safety glasses out now because as you can see the pitman arm puller is starting to bend and it's either gonna break or it's gonna pop off of there. So uh, things are starting to get dangerous here. I've got two options now. I can either keep cranking on this until it breaks or, or worse. Um, another option is I can cut the back of this pitman arm, in which case it should break and come off. I'm also soaking it with some PB Blaster, hopefully that will help. And uh, a third option or fourth option is I can whack it with a hammer and try and break it free. Um, uh, another option I guess is to heat it up with a torch. So. The problem with that is I'm afraid if I heat it with a torch I might uh, melt the seal that's up here in this, the steering gear box. So I, I really want to save that for last if I can't get it off. But for now I'm going to let it soak just a little bit and whack on it with a hammer a few times see if that'll help. All 
All right, well, let's try heating it, see what happens. I'm not gonna heat it too much because I don't want to melt that seal, but my only other option is to cut it. Came off. Well, let's just hope I didn't melt that seal, which probably did. Maybe that wasn't the best option. Alright guys, well, it's not leaking yet. I guess I'll find out down the road. If it does, I can uh, always fix it with the video that I have on opening up your gearbox. So, anyway. I'm going to put the pitman arm back on the same way that I took it off, pointed the same direction. We're going to put that nut on here. And we're going to tighten that down to 185 foot-pounds, although I don't have the correct um, I don't have the correct socket for that, so we'll just have to get it. That's pretty much as tight as you can get it. Alright guys, now all that's left to do is reinstall the steering, the castle nut, torque that down, and then put your cotter pin through. Since I'm going to be replacing the steering, I'm not going to go through with all of that. Now I did read the instructions though, and they said do not use a pickle fork right here. I'm assuming that's because you're going to bust the boot if you use a pickle fork. The reason I did is because uh, I'm replacing all that, but if you're not going to be replacing that, you can get a special puller tool that won't mess up your threads and it won't mess up your your boot down here. But you can always replace the boot if you need to. Just make sure that when you torque that top nut down that you take note where the hole is for your cotter pen, because you're not going to be able to see it with all that grease and stuff in the way if it's dirty and used. So uh, take note where that hole is, that way when you get it torqued down you can line it up just right so you can get that cotter pin through there. Then bend back the tabs on either side of the cotter pin and you'll be finished. Sweet! Check it out guys. There's a lot more work to be done but we're making progress. Now remember this is just one video of many videos that we did on that entire lift. Now make sure to subscribe right here to the Bleepin' Jeep channel. Also check out the website, bleepinjeep.com. We've got t-shirts, we've got stickers, we've got this band-aid sticker, we've got all kinds of great how-to videos for you as well, bleepinjeep.com. Also, what I want you to do is go over to Rough Country's YouTube channel at Rough Country TV. Subscribe over there, then let me know in the comments section that you have subscribed. Once you do that, Rough Country is going to give away a free $50 gift certificate, a t-shirt, and some stickers once a week, so make sure to subscribe over there to Rough Country TV. Leave your comments and questions below. I appreciate you guys watching, and we'll see you in the next video. Okay guys, I hope you learned something there. I want to thank you for watching, and thank you for subscribing and supporting the Bleep and Jeep channel. Now we've got a few options for you. First of all, these videos can be costly and take a lot of time to do. And if you want to contribute, you don't have to, but if you'd like to, the option for that is right over there. Also, we'd love for you to check out the t-shirt store. The link for that is right down there. We've got these t-shirts, these t-shirts, this hat, and more at bleepinjeep.com store or that link. Also, we'd love for you to subscribe to the YouTube channel. That option is right below. It's free. You get updates via email every week when we upload a new video. Also, we'd love for you to check out the website, bleepinjeep.com, or click this link right here. We've got all kinds of off-road videos. We've got how-to videos, off-road parks and discount coupon codes and more. So check that out, bleepinjeep.com. All right, guys, thank you very much for subscribing and supporting, and we'll see you in the next video.